Hey Collective, it's your girl the Unorthodox Counselor. Thank you for checking into the channel. We're going to go ahead and get started with you guys. Okay, take only the messages that resonate. All right. And we'll go ahead and we'll just jump right in. Then. somebody feel like they met somebody who's their soulmate or they could feel like they're currently dating their soulmate or they're thinking of their soulmate oh so we got twin flames coming out a yin and yang balance a unity a duality okay you complement each other polar opposites So we got Cupid's arrow coming out here. Having faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation, struck by love. Somebody's out here getting grounded right now. Stability and security, performance, growth and endurance. Okay. Somebody's out here talking, they're interested. Awaiting messages, text calls, email, talking more. So somebody probably, um, somebody has either met somebody or currently dating somebody or is interested in somebody who they feel like is their soulmate or twin flame, that they offer them that balance, that union and duality. They, they complement each other. You know, this person is trying to get the strength and energy to come forth to really express how they feel about you, okay? Um, they're sitting here probably talking to people that they're close to, you know, about how they feel. Or this could be you doing the talking and feeling and processing and getting grounded with how you feel about somebody, okay? So this is good. So this, this is already about to be a love read. So that's the game plan, huh? <laughs> Somebody feels like this relationship will bring them paradise, okay? We're talking about seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party, temptation. So there could be a um, somebody who's wanting to come towards you or you want to go towards somebody, but you may have somebody else that you're currently seeing or that they're currently seeing or that's just in the background as a third party. And... Um, this person could be possibly wearing a mask. Wow. So let's see what's going on. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Now we get all these good cards, Twin Flames, Cupid Zero, Grounding, uh, you know, Talking, Paradise, and then all of a sudden we get this Seduction card. Somebody's, somebody could be feeling extremely highly attracted to you or you feel this way towards them. Or somebody could, or this could be you are um, seeing other people at this time. Somebody could be out here just um, currently just dating, trying to get to know people. Um, this person could be very highly sexually attractive, um, very seductive. This person um, could be very handsome, very gorgeous, this woman or this man. Let's see. All right, let's see. So let's see what the situation is here. So this person is coming out of some type of heartbreak and pain from um, some type of mental conflict. 
that they've been dealing with feeling um, mentally and emotionally strained. Possibly within a connection of working with some people. And now they're walking away. Because they felt like they're, they're there wasn't no movement going on within the connection. Okay. So somebody, somebody that was feeling very emotionally and mentally trapped is coming out of this mental entrapment, okay? They're really understanding the connection that you have with them. This person is coming out of the cold. They 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 know what they want to do. Okay. They're coming out of this sorrow. with the empress in reverse. Let me see, but there's this empress. Let me see what's going on. Okay, what's this? Um, we got empress in reverse, what the fuck? So, there could also be an empress that was, that was out here, um, who dealt with a lot of, a lot of chaos, a lot of um, betrayal, you know, a lot of heartache and pain. They felt um, they had a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, okay? But they feel like they found love now. So they want to come out of this mental entrapment. They want to come out of this anxiety and depression, okay? They trying to come out of from being in the in, in the cold, from feeling left out. They want to feel a part of now. They've been working on getting grounded. Cause in the past they may not have um used their their abilities the way that they should have. They may, may not have been as fruitful as they as they could have been within a connection with somebody. They probably felt like they couldn't birth something. They was always in some type of, in some type of um, indecisive energy. But right now this person understands that they have to make a move. There's a decision that they have to make where they're, they're trying to build up the passion and the desire because they're really trying to uh, grab all their strength together because they've really been in hermit mode, plotting and planning and thinking and just looking on the past and going within about their life choices and decisions they have made. So she's looking over her whole life and everything she has been through. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the different. We got the King of Cups in reverse. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. With the Queen of Cups. So, this person... <clears throat> this person may not have... had the emotional the emotional um, stability within a connection there was like no love there this person probably was abandoned as a child their parents probably wasn't there for them Their parents probably, this person, this person's parents probably looked at them as an outcast. 
felt like they brought nothing but issues because they don't do nothing with their life or they don't do the things that they want. They're not, this, this person is not how the parents want them to be. This woman has constantly looked ahead to see where she needs to move and what direction in her life She's trying to apply logic and thought to what's the best move for her. Because she doesn't want to hold on no longer to things that don't serve her. She's willing to leave behind friendships. Because she knows she needs to go into a new two of cups with somebody. A new love awaits her. She knows it. She feels it. She can see it. She smells it. The will is in reverse. So things are not being completed as they need to be complete with the lovers in reverse. This person is trying to let go of a relationship that she know is over. To move towards something more solid. Or it could be this man doing this. This woman is also with this will not turning. With this will not turning. It's kind of like just letting, constantly replaying the past over and over and not really wanting to move into a new direction because possibly... It's like she wants to move in a new direction, but she feels stuck and stagnant, okay? And then with the emotional manipulation with the king and the queen and the cups, with the nine of cups in reverse, you know, these two people are playing on this empress energy. They're trying to emotionally manipulate her in some way, shape, or form to make her feel like she doesn't need to go towards this new person, this new love interest that she has. It could even be with uh, whether it's business, an intimate relationship, or, you know, just her going into union with herself. Like, they're really trying to stop her and emotionally manipulate her. And this is trying to keep the will stuck. But the will has to move forward at some point. Because the disharmony within, the, within self, within a relationship, a connection... This card isn't supposed to be in the deck, but it says seek clarity, embrace honesty, face consequences, and sharpen your focus for personal growth. Where was the... Oh. Let me see something. What is this? Um, well in reverse with the lovers in reverse. It's the Ace of Swords in reverse. There's no type of... She's not getting the clarity that she needs and wants. She doesn't feel like she can trust something just yet.
That's why she feels she feels mentally tied up right now. Having this anxiety and depression, this uncertainty, don't know, you know. And that's why she still keep looking out ahead, trying to come up with a game plan. Because she needs to she needs to get out of this five of, five of cups. She needs to change her her thought process with her emotions. She needs to get balanced. She needs to walk away, but we got seven of wands in reverse. Excuse me one second, y'all. This, all of this stagnancy is causing, is causing the tower to not happen. A tower has to happen. Because you got the Queen of Swords coming out here with the King of Swords. So, her match is out here. This Empress matches out here. This King of Swords is is in his head too. I, it's almost like they're both kind of in their head. She wants to move forward. He wants to move forward too. But they're both kind of feeling like, oh my God, am I making the right decision? There's things I need to work on. You know, I'm not, you know, 100% where I need to be. Would they still take me? You know, because <sighs> he's still in his head. And he wants to he wants to move forward in the connection. But yet and still, you know, he's like, ah, oh, should I? I need to get out of this because I really do. I gotta keep, I gotta make some type of decision. Let me think about this. I need to rest so that I could come up with how I could be successful. And moving forward in this connection. But I know that I got to process this. And I need some rest. But this, you know, you got the justice in reverse. Because he taking he taking too long. There's something that this man doesn't want to walk away from. Which is keeping his... His, um seeds that he planted in reverse like he's not being he's not able to reap the benefits of them because he's still not willing to let go he being extra 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 tight so hold on a minute Yeah, yeah. It's pouring outside. You guys, can you guys hear that? He wanted to try to move forward and go in a direction, but shit, how he gonna go somewhere? He being tight with all his stuff. He trying to balance it out. Trying to balance out how he could spread his money, make it work. But it's keeping him with the star in reverse. Damn, with the hierophant. Oof. Hold on. Hold on a minute. What's this star in reverse? He lacking strength. He in complete isolation right now. Mm. Which is causing him to be in the Eight of Pentacles. What's this hierophant?
this hierophant, this hierophant with the hangman, this hierophant knows a lot of information. But he holding on to this information though. Somebody knows a lot of information. They're not saying nothing. Who's this hierophant with the hangman? This hierophant with the hangman, this emperor. Oh, oh my God. With the six of pentacles in reverse. See, there ain't no equal give and take somewhere. With the eight of wands. Oh my God, hold on, why I just got a whole separate. to another deck. Hold on. Let me see something. So we know that there's a lot of fighting about, about a Ten of Pentacles because this, this emperor with the hierophant, with the hangman, I mean, this person is highly spiritual, highly intelligent, very smart, knows how to go within, is not somebody who just out here just doing anything, okay? But we got the Six of Pentacles with, in reverse with the Ace of Wands. What's the Six of Pentacles? That's the Knight of Wands. Jesus. So we got fire out here, Aries. Okay, so this Knight of Wands is coming at fast pace. Fighting about this Six of Pentacles in reverse. But they're being deceptive or they're trying to stand their ground look what I say stand their ground with this nine of wands king of wands oh my god we got hella fire out here so this I don't know Aries Leo Sag Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Just 
Gemini, Libra. Okay, let me see some. Okay, Nine of Wands with the King of Wands. So this, so this. So this emperor, knight of wands, king of wands, they fighting for this connection within this, this twin flame connection. It's a lot of, it's a lot of mind games going on, a lot of different emotions, a lot of choices, you know, a variety of things. And this is why he's walking away from all these different energies that's coming towards him right now. So he got other different options on how he could do things. But I think he's deciding to walk away and just focus on a single connection. I think he wants to give, an, give up this uh, partying lifestyle, per se. We got the lovers coming out here. So <laughs> the lovers with the moon. So he trying to... Because he got so many options and he tired of playing the field, he's sitting up here walking away. He's just going to leave all this shit behind and he going towards this new connection because his intuition is really eating at him that he needs to go ahead and do what he needs to do to get right. That's why he about to take this action and it's going to bring a hell of a fucking tower to this king of swords. Because now they moving ahead, this emperor moving ahead with his new soulmate, his twin flame, and they're going to have this victory and success because there's going to be no more of this, this sadness. They passed this. They moving forward. They're going to be working together, doing business, making business deals and, um, you know, creating a family, some stability, you know, having emotional fulfillment financial security with each other within each other you know spirituality at an all-time high they're they're helping each other mentally emotionally physically spiritually building each other up we got the eight of pentacles in reverse you know people gonna um people gonna understand they gonna stop spying on them Thinking they're going to keep spying on him and seeing what he got going on. This about to come to a stop, too. All these people trying to see what he got going on, working against him. To try to stop him from moving forward to this connection. And then with this woman over here trying to move forward in the connection, too. And get out of this emotional hurt and pain that she experienced from not being loved and cared for by her parents. Not having the emotional support. So there's a lot of childhood trauma going on with this woman or with, you know, her parent issues and childhood trauma. And then he got all these issues with running around with multiple women. So he trying to learn how to bring bring himself in alignment and get in order so that he could be the man that he need to be for her. And she's trying to be the woman that she needs to be for him. Because we got the hangman out here. Not making a move. You know, just going with them, make you know, just processing information, being very strategic on how you know they move forward. Because we got the seven of wands out here, people fighting for this connection. He fighting for this connection. He like uh uh, because he gonna make it happen. Being with the magician out here, he fighting he fighting for this connection. He fighting to make to do whatever he gotta do. To make it happen. So he going to fight against anybody that's trying to come up against y'all. That's why resting and rejuvenation is out here. You know, even though people coming, coming at him in every way, shape, and form. But he's still fighting and making things happen. Because he the magician. But also, this could also be you out here being a magician and you resting and rejuvenating as you trying to figure out how you about to go and move forward with, you know, moving forward in your emotional pain that you experienced from, you know, childhood, not having just that adequate love and attention or affection that you felt like you needed. 
and you've been pulling all your strength together. This is why you resting and rejuvenating with that four of swords. You out here trying to get your strength up so that you can sit up here and ride through and let everybody know what time it is. Because you're not playing these games. Because you got a whole new epiphany and a whole new insight and clarity on how you need to move forward. If you're trying to be out here celebrating and chilling because you've been reminiscing about what it was like growing up. And you said, I'm not doing that, so I'm moving in a new direction with my nine of pentacles and I'm not I'm breaking generational curses financially as well and within my relationships and my connections. You got King of Swords out here. You sitting up there you like you know what? Me making these decisions bringing some folks a ten of wands, but I'm gonna be in this sun energy with this fulfillment, this happiness, this bliss because I'm coming in with a new set of emotions. Okay, I'm operating in my Queen of Cups energy. I'm being emotionally stable at this time. And my will is going to be turning because I got things to do. And I'm not letting nobody hold me back from being with the love of my life at this time. We got a King of Cups out here in reverse. So we got somebody who's emotionally manipulative. Okay, who's sitting up here trying to plot and plan on how he going to move forward to try to get to somebody money. Okay, or stop their new relationship from coming in because he on the move with all this willpower to try to stop this six of pentacles of this equal give and take and shared love and affection and resources. He trying to stop it for this empress, but this empress about to bring his ass a tower because he keep playing around because this empress is in tune with the universe and with God and the angels. She's highly balanced. But this, this four of pentacles out here falling with the justice card in reverse, you know, being, being, being selfish and stingy and holding on to things that don't serve that don't serve this empress will put the justice card in reverse. It keeps the justice card in reverse. But see, she not hearing that. She, five of wands, she like, listen, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting. But this queen of wands out here is sitting up there like, shit, I'm emotionally fulfilled and I'm happy with what I got going on. I done put in work, so I don't care about nothing you got going on. And that's why this Queen of Wands out here moving, trying to move forward. But see, there's some deception going on with that too. That's why the emperor in reverse over here. Somebody who's a tyrant, who's sitting up there, um, has no love, no emotion, very dictatorship type of energy. Don't give a hell of, don't, listen, don't give a fuck about nobody, okay? About nobody or nothing but themselves. But this empress is, I'm telling you, this empress star energy is about to bring a tower. It's about to bring a tower to this queen of wands. But this queen of wands is trying not to let this justice card go in the upright. What is this four of pentacles? Four of pentacles with the this is, okay. So with the four of pentacles with the justice in reverse, we got the four of cups. This person wants to make a decision, but is 
they either going to make a decision and this look like it's about to be a bad move or they're not making a decision completely at all where they're not even considering other options and this is why the justice card is in reverse. Like karma, like, like it has to get, everything has to get balanced out. But you about to have this three of cups, victory and success and, and collaborations and celebrations and and friendships Ooh, that's gonna be a whole new a whole new everything for you you're going in a whole new direction with this new relationship you got clarity you making movement you finally you finally about to take some some logical action towards this connection or this person is and it's about to leave somebody real unbalanced They're not going to be able to. They're not going to be able to. To pour into you. Um, or pour into themselves or others. They're going to become unbalanced even more. Which going into this, this new connection is going to bring, the world card to move a completion, along with the ten of cups. So we, you know, right there, boom. Cause this hermit about to come out. This hermit is gonna just decide to just move forward and just go with the flow with life. You see her closing down the computer like I'm. I'm just. I'm closing this. I'm shutting shit down and I'm moving forward in my life because I'm coming out of this hurt and pain. Because that pain gave me a lot of broken heart, but I know I'm still gonna be all right and I'm gonna come up out of this. That's why I'm moving in a new direction toward my King of Pentacles with my new ace of pentacles, okay? And this new love my baby giving me now, okay? <laughs> so that is that right there, okay? I'ma just grab a couple cosmic insights just because, let's see, any other messages? <laughs> Somebody is pregnant or expecting or trying to have a baby or have a family together we got intimacy out here, sexual chemistry, reminiscent. Follow with that seduction card. So yeah, there's a lot of a lot of sexual chemistry and seduction going on within this connection right here. Somebody needs to let go, make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now. And I believe I talked about having to let go of something. We got love spell out here. You've been bewitched. So somebody probably out here, you know, doing come to me spells and shit. Sit, you know, constantly thinking about you and manifesting you in their mind, body, heart, and soul. And doing all kinds of shit to, to get you to come back to them. We got cycles closing out and new cycles beginning. We got people moving on from old relationships, old ways of being. Somebody out here is a liar in your energy. Be careful. Someone's sneaky. You need to move on. Someone is unavailable. A waste of time is over. And we got fire sign Aries Leo Sag. Damn, this is my second or third reading with that card coming out. We got gambling problems with addiction, gambling, bad finances. Let me do one more card and that's it. And then I'm gonna close y'all out. <laughs> uh, we got guardian, a lost, a lost loved one watches over you. So this is your read. I hope this message helps somebody. So just know that, you know, Start working on your childhood trauma if you haven't already. Start doing some shadow work. 
um, start working on your issues because this connection is coming in if it haven't already. And everybody has been fighting all types of battles to try to be with the person that they love or, or desire or want to be with. And it's just, and it's time and you deserve it. You know, we have to, in order to come in the union, we got to put in that work. You know, we got to deal with, you know, our attitudes and behaviors that, you know, we know we shouldn't be <laughs> acting on and shit like that. We need to be changing certain things. And um, it's important when you move into these new connections. So I hope this message finds you well. Peace and many blessings.